Master, RX93.1 presents the Concert Series. Live musical performances at the Monster Studios by today's artists. The Concert Series. Your host, Rico Robles. Oh, hey, Monsters. How you doing? Just walking in. Welcome back to the live musical program on radio. This is the concert series only here on Monster. Third 73.1. I'm your host, Rico Robles. And tonight's guest is uh, Will Mikael, a singer-songwriter from Cebu with a release of his latest single, Akong Addiction. A trivial, of course, uh, R&B track in English, Filipino, and Cebuano. Will Mikael became the latest cover of the Spotify's PH Bistak playlist, and at the same time, Akong Addiction made it to the other Spotify playlists, such as OPM Says Chillax, Pinas Vibe, Sappy and Senti, and Relax Tayo. He just recently opened for uh, Jesse Barrera and Albert Poses, The Hold on Tight Tour, which uh, happened last May 25th. And today he will grace us. He's actually right beside me. For the first time, we'll get to know Will Mikael in just a bit. Monster RX 93.1. We are live in studio. We have my man, Will Mikael. What's hey, up, man? Hey, thank you so much for having me. Hey, dude, looking good, looking good. Look at <laughs> you, you, okay? So, of course, uh, you're a Cebuano. Um, Akong Addiction. What does yeah. that mean, the, the song? Akong Addiction translates to my addiction. Ah. So, uh, yeah, the song the song basically is a, 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 sexy, song, a sexy R&B song. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just, you know... Me seducting this woman, you know, telling her that you know she's. Hey, my addiction, okay. You when know? did you learn the skill <laughs> of the art of seduction? When did you discover you had this, man? I didn't. Uh, honestly, I didn't know until I wrote the song. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> that's when. That's when. That's when I knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, the, the the journey comes in. Of course, did you start in Cebu? The music, or is it you from Cebu? Then you went to Manila. Then you got into music. How did it go? Actually, it's a it's a very. Uh, tricky place but i started writing songs actually in english mm -hmm. like full english and i just started writing songs in uh, my own dialect dialect uh last year uh -huh. so that's when i decided you know what let's try to write songs in bisaya so you know i can i can take this Cebuano pride in me so was it harder to to do the whole three language kind of thing actually no because it's basically how i speak uh -huh. i mean i i'm not fluent in speaking uh, Bisaya, I'm not fluent in speaking Tagalog, but uh, so that's why it was kind of easy for me to portray my message yeah. in trilingual. Hey, I think you know. <laughs> right? yeah. you know, he got game, but he does it three times. That's what it's about. <laughs> now, discovering that, how about music? How old are you when you discovered well, music? Well, I started uh, basically music when I was at least seriously, at the age of 13. I mean, I've been singing for a long time. I, I, I grew up with a family full of singers. Shout out to my family there in Cebu, by the way. Last name? Caballero. Caballeros, what's up? How you doing, Caballero family? Okay. Um, yeah, so I started, um, basically, that's when my music exposure, mm -hmm. uh, that's what influenced me, my family. And I started- What songs are you singing? Were you trying to be like, you know, Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five? Well, or was it Justin yeah, actually, Bieber? Actually, actually kind of yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Bruno I, I, Mars, what Bruno is it? Bruno Mars, Bruno yeah, Mars, Bruno Mars okay. for sure. Um, yeah, that's what, and then just along the way, uh, as I got older, mm -hmm. at least by the age of 13, I decided to, to uh, tell myself, you know what, I, this is what feels good for me, music, and you know, I want to I wanna write songs, I want to do something for my own, and uh, I started writing songs at the age of 13. Can you remember the first song you've written? Oh my God. Can you uh, I mean, we have your guitar here, so if you want to... Um, I, I can't remember. It's been it's a long time. No, no, no. It's not a D-A-G-A -A chord. <laughs> uh, <laughs> usually. Yeah, usually C, G, A minor. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, so like that. that song was about a girl? What is it? Uh? Well, uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was a heartbreak song? No, it was yeah. more of a me... Uh, confessing my feelings to a girl back in elementary. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know who you are. Like girls, like yeah, that's me. That song is for me. Yeah. And then you know when you started writing original songs, was mm -hmm. there any song com um, songwriting competition in Cebu? 
How no, did it go? No, actually, I, I, songwriting just became like this therapeutic form for me to, you know, whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm thinking, it just, it was like my safe place, you know, mm -hmm. just songwriting. So, uh, so how much of you is on paper and pen and on lyrics? Like, 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 like how amount? much of your emotions do you put out? Do you put 100% of you there or do you... Work, uh, yung kumbaga, ka. Oh, yeah, it go? for sure. 100% uh -huh. uh, of my emotion because, you know, there's this rule in songwriting, it has to come from the heart. Mm -hmm. So for sure, whenever I am writing a song, I have to, you know, speak my truth. What was the That's... most painful line you've written? Ooh. Actually, this is in Bisaya. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tease this a little because this is a new song that might come out someday. Pero, uh, uh, man, ning lahi man ka. That means, why did you change? Nga, uh, what? Nga o man, lahi man ka. Nga no man, ning lahi man ka. Nga no man, ling lahi ang ka. Ning lahi man ka. Man ka. Yeah. Okay. You so, got it. Why did you change? Yeah, why did you change? That is a great line you ask somebody who broke your heart. Yeah. Why did you change? Why did you change? Yeah, nga yeah. no man, ning lahi man ka. And then button off, be like, cha. Right. <laughs> Great music video, I'm telling you. Of course, the concert series. We're gonna hear some songs. Yeah. Okay. All these songs are from your your album, or somewhere you can do some they're, covers. They they are they are uh, original songs that is out on my Spotify, mm -hmm. uh, Apple Music, everywhere. You can go check me out just by searching Will Mikael. So tell me about the story of TikTok and you. I hear that you know you you like a rock star on TikTok. Uh, rock star. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a big word, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh yeah. Uh, I am a rock star in TikTok. I got like, um, say, 150k followers. Wow! Yeah. So how'd you get all those people? Do you sing to them? So? Actually, no. I blew up. I blew up. Uh, I kind of blew up on the pandemic era. Uh -huh. I was doing covers. Okay. Actually, I was doing covers, and that was actually the reason why. That was actually the re the reason how Universal Records, my label now, mm -hmm. found me, and uh, yeah. Yeah, they, they're, they're good era. in spotting great talents, I'm telling you. For man. sure. Yeah, so, all right, we're going to hear some songs. What are the next songs you, guys, you got for us? Well, uh, these, the songs that I'm going to be, mm -hmm. be performing, well, the songs I'm going to be performing is a set list of my uh, original songs, so, you know, they're out in Spotify. Tell us a story as well on the songs, all right? So we're going to hear some more. What's the first one? The first one is Swing By To You. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them live. Will Mikael, once again, if you have any questions or you want to just send them a shout-out, 09601367931. If you're watching this online, feel free to type on the comment box. So here we go. Good luck. The concert series debut. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, here on the Monster. Hey, Monsters. It's Kayla Rivera. To catch exclusive versions of songs played on this episode, visit the Monster YouTube channel at rx931. That's youtube.com slash rx931. And listen live on air on FM radio Mondays, 7 p.m. on Monster, rx93.1. Now back to the concert series interviews from the Monster. When, when, when the Lord gave talent to the world, he was wide awake. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Great stuff, man. Will Miguel Thank joining so us much. for Concert Series. We are live. He sang five songs for us. We saw it was like a talent showcase, man. Thank from, you. From who, who produced the beats? Me. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, yeah I, good thing, good thing. I mostly produce um, most of my songs. Actually, mm -hmm. I write the I write them as well. It's very so, smooth. Yeah. You might see a lot of of uh, Craig David. Yeah. Jordan Knight. Mm -hmm. You know, R&B kind of... Do you dance too? Well, a little. You be with a your little. guitar doing all those little dance moves? <laughs> I wish. Why not? I wish. Why not? You know, it would be great, you know, with the guitar just doing right, all that right? stuff. No? <laughs> could be, it could be a, a new genre called Seb Pop. Maybe. Ah, Cebu Pop. Coined it right here on right. Monster Radio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got you. We got you, of course. Um, for you, when you, your songs are coming out, then, you know, online, of course, TikTok, you're big. Mm. How did, uh, when did it start picking up? And when it started picking up, how did you feel about it? Did you meet interesting people too? Well, yeah, I mean, because of TikTok, it really led me th here through the music industry, basically. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, because of the, the, uh, the way I boomed on TikTok, um, I started, you know, meeting uh, different artists, uh, some How about collaboration? Artists. I mean, you know, Cebu itself, Karencita. There's Urban Dub. Well, you know? I mean, uh, I'm actually a producer in Cebu. I produce for local artists, mm -hmm. well, such as Kobe. You should go follow him out, by the way. Kobe. He's, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it with an E? 
It's it's K H O uh, B E E. Okay, cool. That's his artist name. That's a uh, rapper, R and B. He's a uh, he's more of like a uh, Grand Paris type of music. Okay, okay. So yeah, I'm uh, I produce a lot in Cebu for local artists. Actually. Nice, nice, so, nice. Okay, yeah, but then out. is it more challenging that if you put up your own stuff and then production? I mean, on other people's music, how does it work? Actually, is it if it's really good, it's for me, and if it's like you know. Well, I mean, I know my style as a producer. Yeah. yeah. I know that I make R and B songs. I know that. This is my sound. So whenever I'm working with another artist, I always make sure that, you know, what's their sound. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I'm working with an artist, I step back on the, uh, on the placement of me being an artist. So mm -hmm. now I'm a producer. So, so you have I, to make sure it sounds good. Yeah, I have to make sure it sounds good and it sounds like the artist whenever right, I'm true, working. True. So, yeah. Um, That's rare, huh, for a producer and a singer-producer. To actually have it differently, you know what I mean? Yeah, I you mean, know, you know, it's, when it's, it comes to perform, we are okay, ito, dito ka, ito, ito yung sound ko, ito yung, you know. Yeah, so that's, like, that's why that it has to be your sound as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like that. Are you tough on yourself as far as you producing your own music? Well, yeah, honestly, uh -huh. I am very tough on myself. I Whenever I release a a song, especially like this one, Akong Addiction, uh, what I'm thinking right now is, you know, what's the, the next best thing that I can do for to top this one? Uh -huh. So... So it's always you're only good as your last song, as they do say. Well, I would say I like to compete with my own self. Yeah, true. Uh, I, I want to get better and better every time, every single time Has I release Has your mom a song. and dad heard your, sh your tracks? Your yeah. Parents? Yeah. How do they feel about it? Um, well, right now the the direction is me becoming mature. So <laughs> eventually, I'm gonna have some mature songs. So. Um, sorry, mom and dad, for ready now for mature roles. <laughs> <laughs> so he's ready to take it to the next level. I should probably not say that. I mean, yeah. I think they're watching right now. Hey, hello, mom and dad. Hi. But they're supportive, which is good. But they're right? supportive, yeah. Which, right? which I, I thank them for it honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the both of them, I'd probably not be here in Manila right now. Here in the Monster even Radio, in, even in this earth, if it wasn't for both of them, <laughs> <laughs> we're being yeah. heard, of course, uh, over in uh, Cebu or BT 105.9 and Monster BT. 99.5 in Dava worldwide www.arcs931.com many more in store I know this is just the first album thing so when you perform live is there any shows you'll be performing live do you have dancers or you call no, them Lisa? just me uh, wow, hopefully okay. my, my whole plan whenever I'm performing because I don't really perform mm -hmm. as well uh, as well well I perform well basically but I don't really perform uh, as much as um, uh, you know, uh, as often. So my goal is, you know, to make sure that whenever I'm performing, I, I, how I visualize with myself is, I'm with the band and and stuff. Yeah. Cool band. Okay, mm -hmm. something to look forward to. Any shows you wanna plug? Any gigs? Yeah, I have gigs uh, this Friday here on the Unknown Thirteen Pub, mm -hmm. and as well as in SM Tai Tai. So, so yeah, Unknown gigs. Thirteen. Okay, so where it's unknown. So how do we find you? Honestly, I don't, I don't really know uh, well here in Manila. All I know is that the pub is Unknown 13. So okay, so mark it and add them yeah. on your socials as well. You get to check it out. Yeah, just mark it. Uh, any collabs on your, any collaborations on your album? Or um, just all you for your chance to be heard kind of thing? No, it's all me to, mm -hmm. to chance. I'm, I'm just releasing songs actually, just mm -hmm. a single. So yeah. Okay, okay. So this is something to look forward to. By the end of the year, what else is the plan? Are you going to enter show business? Or is it just purely music? Well, just music. I'm just releasing uh, songs one by one, seeing, testing the waters, and uh, yeah, hopefully one sticks this year. So yeah, that's just my initial plan and, as at the moment. And last but not the least, message for all those who are from Cebu, who are in the province writing songs, can't get started, don't know how to begin, now you're here, being heard. Well, uh, so to my fellow uh, Cebuanos, just keep going. Uh, Padayon lang jud. Uh, if you really like what you are doing, padayon lang jud. So, uh, yeah, mao nang mao nang message of today, padayon. So that's just it. If yeah, you know what padayon means? No, I don't. Know. Tuloy lang. Tuloy lang. Uh, hey, kaya pala when you're heartbroken, padayon, bro. Oh, padayun. Even if heartbroken ka, padayon lang. Oh. Padayon lang. Things will get better. Yay! <laughs> Write a good song and have a lot of albums and make a lot of money. <laughs> The concert, the concert series, live on the monster.